Okay, here we are trying to get the little lock plate black on, back on the steering wheel. Had to change the lock cylinder and stuff. Um, I've actually never had to do this before. Um, so yeah, I didn't quite know how to start it. But anyways, it's a pretty simple deal. So went to just local um, auto parts store. Got myself a little compressor, steering wheel compressor. And I'm just going to show you exactly how easy this is. Uh, yeah, I just went ahead and slid this stuff on. I went ahead and put the snap rink on. It says to use a new, or a new one, but I'm just going to use my old one. It should be fine. Um, yeah, and hopefully the lighting is going to work for you. Kind of got the sun aiming at us, but should get the gist of it. Nah, it's pretty plain and simple here. Screw down onto the steering wheel. Gonna be a little support there where you're gonna get your pressure at. Do this clockwise to compress. So as you see as this turns, that's getting pushed back in. And that's what we're needing to do to get that snap ring or the retaining clip back in. So it's back in. Ugh, a little extra effort here with one hand. Okay, it's trying to get to that lip. And put you down here a second. Find that up and over. I don't know if you heard it just snap into place, but it is in the place. Right there. So now we can just back this off. There's a little quick jab right there. Now it's locked in. Um, I was stubborn at first and I decided to do it without this little tool. And I fought and fought and fought for a couple hours, realized I couldn't do it. So I went to the auto port store, spent $15, and as you see, I just got it in in a minute. So, yeah, don't be a cheapskate. Spend 15 bucks, get it done right, and, yeah, just keep it. You'll use it, we'll use, uh, use it again, but hopefully this was helpful to anybody else that was busting knuckles and killing their forearms. So, glad I could help.